knees and the planes will cover. That is number eight, and that is number one. So we, we will cover the uses from this one to this one. I'll do the common ones first, and then I'll give you the uncommon ones. I could do all Stanleys, but I'll play around and do other things. First of all, these little ones here, that's the block plane, the Stanley 060, or there's a 960 or an 020 contractor. Much the same little veggie. They're a low angle block plane, and they have adjustable mouth, which is, see how that mouth opens and closes? That's when you do an end grain and you want a really nice fine cut. This is a Veritas Lamborghini. No, <laughs> it's an NX60. Um, you've got the difference of $100, $400. But anyway, that, is, that just looks, I think it might be 500 now, I don't know. But that's um, got a nice lot of weight to it. You ask, is there, is there a difference? In all honesty, from my perspective, yes, there is. But if you're just kicking off in woodwork and you're um, just doing run-of-the-mill stuff, uh, nah, stick with this one here. My preference with the NX60, which is with this little beauty here, is the weight. It looks really nice and shiny when you buy it. It's uh, nickel-plated and it comes in a um, black velvet bag and it's wrapped in silver paper and it's, oh! But you use it for a day, I'll tell you what, the shine soon goes off it. But the thing I do like about it, it's got heft. It's got a lot more weight than the Stanley. Having said that, I've used this Stanley for, what are we into now? I reckon I've had that for 30 years, whereas I've had that one for about 10. Now the reason for block planes is they're really handy if you're doing little jobs and you just want to plane things off. They're great for end grain. We'll do a little bit of end grain um, planing later on when we do the dovetails. But they are really nice for that. They don't tear out, they don't catch. They're good for just knocking off little high spots on jobs. And I would say if I had to have one plane in the shed and I was buying all my timber that was dressed, I'd possibly block plane. So there you go, two essential for a workshop, block plane and bandsaw in your set. Okay, so those block planes, they have a specific purpose and they're great for doing little jobs around the place. Now, oh, hang on, where's, better get one of these, these are the most common things. Ah. There you go. I hate them. <laughs> but anyway, all right, we'll start off with the number three. A number three is a smoother. Um, and a number four is a smoother, but it's also what they sell as a handyman plane, which means it's a bit of everything, and by being a bit of everything, it really doesn't do anything. That's my opinion of the number four. They are most prolific. If you go anywhere, nearly everyone's got a number four plane, whether they use it or not. But a number three is for smoothing. We'll have this as the demo piece. That's, that's been planed, that side. Might be able to get a sheen off of that. And this part hasn't. So what I'm going to do is just shoot this with a smoothing plane. And as you can see, it's set fine. We're taking slight shavings off, and I can feel that's just starting to smooth up. Okay, that's not too bad. And that's what a smoothing plane for is to take all the machining marks off or uh, work marks. If you've got any that are a little bit Hard to get off, grab a card scraper, which is one of these. And you can take any of those marks out with a card scraper. So that's the idea of a number three. It's a smoothing plane. Small, easy to handle. Stanley make them. That one I have there is a Lee Nelson ductile bronze. That's the Stanley equivalent. Only, in all honesty, 
I just love the Lee Nielsen. It is, it's got so much weight and it's so nice to hold. But anyway, that's the two of them there. These are most likely uh, more around on the second home market and these are new. So that's a smoothing plane. As I said before, a number four is meant to be a smoothing plane as well. I use mine as a hogging plane. That blade in there is actually curved and I use that for hogging timber out. If I've got a board that's undulated or rough sawn and I want to flatten it, first of all I use a scrub plane, which is a specialty plane. Then I use this hogging plane, which isn't quite as severe as a scrub plane. And then I'll go to a number seven or a number six to flatten it out. But more of that later. Okay, so that's, yes, oh, there's another smoothing plane which I really never use. And that's a, a four and a half. And you can tell I haven't used that one much. Um, I've got all the bits for it over there. That is about the same size as a four. And it's a width of a five and a half or a seven. So for my money, um, I've seen a lot of builders use these on site and they're a bit of a robust knockabout plane. Personally, I don't like them. If I was going to use a, five, a four and a half, I would much prefer to go and use a five and a half. I think it's uh, far more um, adaptable to different jobs. Far more versatile, that's the word, versatile. So that's a five and a half, we'll get to that. Okay, so that's the smoothest. The next plane you move into is the jack plane.